Hello, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're probably wondering why the hell this girl is sitting on the ground. <laughs> and it's because I am moving, you guys. I am moving from Minnesota to LA. Um, I've never moved across the country, so it's definitely a learning curve for me. But I wanted to bring you guys along the process because this is the type of video I would like to watch to, you know, motivate me, especially if it's something I've been thinking about or just See what's in my suitcases. So as you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys things I am bringing in my suitcase. I'm gonna be living out of a suitcase for the next four weeks, so I wanna show you guys what I am bringing. I figure, worst case scenario, if I'm missing anything, I just buy it along the way, but these are products I need, babe. I can't live without them, so I have three suitcases. I'll link the suitcases in the description box below, along with all the products that I mentioned, um, but these suitcases are awesome. They came in a three pack. They're really sturdy, very high quality. Um, so one is for all of my filming equipment. We got to work. We got to pay these bills. And then my second one is beauty products. And my third one is all of my clothing. I'm not going to go through all of my clothing because I think you guys are going to get bored by that, but I'm going to go through like staples that I think a lot of you guys would like too. So Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, I'm trying to get creative with the videos because it's not like I'm hauling a bunch of clothes. I don't even have an address right now. <laughs> so yeah, girl, let's just get into it. Let's start out with um, beauty stuff. Okay, the first thing that I'm bringing, which I think a lot of you guys should probably bring, is just a little laundry bag. I just have a few Tide Pods in there and then some um, dryer sheets just so that I can do laundry as I go, whether I'm staying at a friend's house, staying at my family's house, staying at my new apartment, where I don't have any laundry stuff, this is gonna hold me over, you know, especially since I have to wear the same clothes for three weeks. <laughs> Next, I have to call out my noise machine, especially sleeping in a new city. Um, you hear different noises. I remember when I moved up to my current place, I was like, it is so quiet here. Before, I lived in the city. Uh, now I kind of live in a suburby area, a really quiet area, so having a noise machine kind of drowns everything out. I'm a lay sleeper, so this guy is a necessity for me. It has so many different noises, volumes. It even has a nightlight, but this is major key for me. All right, you guys, so this is what is in my beauty bag. I'm probably gonna end up putting some clothes in here because I think my clothing luggage is gonna be too heavy, but here's what I have so far. So first we have my tanning stuff. I like to use this Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Tanner. It is the best in the game. It fades really gradually, and I really overall like the color. I'm wearing it right now. You know, it kind of just evens out my skin tone, and since I'm gonna be working when I get to LA immediately, I want a nice even base so love this stuff next we have my st. Marie's facial tanner um, this is just gonna be great because I know most days I'm not gonna be wearing makeup but my skin is gonna be dark but I obviously exfoliate my face much more than my body so this is gonna keep me looking not so crazy <laughs> um, when I don't have makeup on okay I really love that facial mist though it does not stink at all next I have my robe just a little satin robe I always like to bring a satin robe on vacation or whenever I'm traveling because they're very very thin you know they don't take up a lot of room and they're great to just wear around the house or while you're getting ready so next we have my ride or die face products so first thing is my cleansing bar this has really helped with my acne if you struggle with acne you guys try this product out it's only five dollars at Ulta it is everything it has completely transformed my skin I used to have to take acne medication so I cannot live without this next I always go in with my glow recipe watermelon toner love this stuff Stuff. It really brings hydration back into your face after you wash it, but this does not strip your skin. This keeps it feeling very moisturized. Next, we gotta go in with my snail juice. Um, if you guys haven't tried this, I highly recommend giving it a try. It really helps with texture. It helps with like evening out your skin tone. This is gold like and it's only it's under twenty dollars it's such a slept on product and i promise it's also transformed my skin also we need our eye makeup remover that one's my favorite i always go in with my fingers i'll just dip my fingers in which is why it kind of looks a little dirty i know it's not the most hygiene but it really helps preserve your lashes so you're not tugging at your lashes next i go in with this night serum this is the honeymoon glow serum by pharmacy this is so great it's like a resurfacing night serum so it helps with fine lines and wrinkles. I notice when I use this consistently, my face is looking on point, okay? And then next we have the Pharmacy Honeymoon Halo Moisturizer. This is such a nice, thick moisturizer. It leaves your face feeling like butter. 
So if you like a thick moisturizer, I highly recommend trying this. I know the pharmacy is a little pricey, but I think it is well worth the price. I, again, my face is looking great. <laughs> Next, we need sunscreen. I feel like that's self-explanatory because I'm gonna be in California, you know, where the sun never sleeps. <laughs> Next, I'm bringing a few of these little washcloths. I use these to take off my makeup, but then I also use them in the shower. They're just like this. They're actually baby cloths. But um, they came in a pack of 20 and I really like them because they're gentle. They don't have a lot of texture to them like a regular washcloth. So they're really gentle on the skin and they help remove any of my makeup. So um, I'm bringing I think maybe like seven. I have to do laundry before I leave. But yeah, these are great to have on hand. And of course, you know, now that I have a few Tide Pods, I can do my laundry regularly. Okay, next over here, we have the biggest bag of contacts because in case something happens with all of my laundry, luggage like the stuff that I'm shipping I want to make sure I'm good so I brought like two months worth of contacts and I'm not even you know I'm not gonna apologize because I cannot be blind um, my glasses are also out in the living room but obviously I'm bringing those I'm bringing boob tape just because I know I'm going to be out and about and if I don't have the correct bra, I know I can make something work with some boob tape. This boob tape also comes with petals. It's from Amazon. Most of this stuff is probably carried on Amazon, so of course I'm going to link everything for you guys, but this is really, really great. Nothing slips out. It's everything. Next, we've got my multivitamin from Trader Joe's. These are just the chewable ones. Gotta have my vitamins. Next, all my earrings go into a little Ziploc bag. I don't have like a jewelry box or anything, so everything that is kind of loose or smaller is going into Ziploc bags. Same with all of my hair stuff. So we've got a brush, we've got clips, binders, um, all of it, a scissors. That is all going in there. Next, we've got my two favorite perfumes. These are my ride or die perfumes, and when I combine them, I always get compliments. So I highly recommend trying out this combo together. So we've got Chanel Chance, Otandra, and then My Way by Giorgio Armani. This is really like a girly, but this is very sweet. This is more floral, I would say. But together they smell so good. So I like wearing them separately. This one is obviously a little bit more affordable, but um, the combo together is everything. And then you guys know I love to do my nails. So my friend Gladys actually put me on to this little system to get nails like this. You know, these are just press-ons. Um, so this is a really easy process. All you have to do is bring a little UV light. This one is by Beatles. It came with a whole little kit. And then I have my press-ons by Kiss. I have a file, a buffer, and the glue. So the glue and the light come together. So this is a nice portable light that you can just bring on the go. So shout out to Gladys for showing me this little hack because I love how my nails have been looking. You know, you can bring some paint with you if you want, but I just wanna make sure I can fix my nails if one breaks, so that's why I'm bringing these. And I'm gonna have easy access to these nails. These are just the Kiss Better Than Bare Nails. So this is my little nail kit. Okay, and here is my tech bag. This is the bag that I'm going to have with me at all times. It's going to be my carry-on. So I'm just having my second purse. Um, at this little phone stand I got from Amazon. I literally cannot live without it. <laughs> it's a game changer. Um, next we have my camera batteries. I have three batteries just so that I can film and batch film and I'm never waiting on my batteries to charge. Love this little guy. Of course, I'll link all this for you guys, especially if you do YouTube or any content creation that is a must. Next we have my external hard drive so if I run out of memory on my computer I can transfer some videos over to here. Um, next my adapter. I hate Apple and how they're always switching out their adapters and stuff so gotta have this. This next adapter is for your phone so let's say I want to edit some TikToks. This one just plugs into my phone. We plug in the USB and then we're good to go so you can transfer videos, pictures from your camera to your phone. Okay next we have my favorite tripod which is what I always use. This is going to fit in my biggest suitcase but um, it's part of the tech stuff. This is such a great tripod if you're looking for a new one. Up here is where you screw your camera in and then I had this from an old tripod but this is just for 
or screwing in your camera. I like having them both attached on the same tripod, um, so I kind of makeshifted this, but my favorite tripod, if you guys need a sturdy, good quality tripod, this one is my favorite. Um, obviously, the laptop, we gotta build an edit. Next, I have all of my remotes for my cameras. Um, I have one for each of my cameras, and then just a little measuring tape, because when you're moving, bring a measuring tape with you. <laughs> this is just a little um, clothing one, but it's gonna work for anything I need just to have on hand so I'll probably throw this in my purse once I get it once I get to LA so you know if I'm out furniture shopping I have a little something on hand next we have just a tabletop tripod this is great for vlogging I'm gonna be vlogging the entire process of me in LA so tripods are a necessity uh, next another camera battery this is my big guy this is my expensive camera so I did not want to pack it away with like all of my shipped stuff so um, I'm gonna be wrapping these in clothing or um, a blanket or something like that and next we have my two little lights these are super super bright and I love that they just plug in um, they're not the most portable thing like you know if you want to go take pictures or videos out and about but if you need a little setup these are gonna do the trick, especially since I didn't have room to bring my ring light with me. We need just little portable lights. And my noise machine, and then obviously this camera that I'm filming on are all gonna go in here. Okay, this was definitely the hardest to pick out <laughs> what I needed for LA, but these are the four shoes that I'm bringing. I think I'm also bringing a pair of just regular flip-flop, like black flip-flops, but I figured I could get away with this little setup. So I have my tennis shoes. You know, I'm gonna try and get back in the gym once I get to LA. I have a pair of going out shoes. These are super comfortable, just a little kitten heel um, from Amazon. And then we have my slides because I wear slides 24-7 and then some like fake Tevas. These are also from Amazon. These are great because I plan on hiking a lot or being at the beach. So these are gonna be the perfect shoe for both of those situations. I forgot to mention these shoes. These are like my going out heels too. I wanted to bring something black and something nude. Um, these are also from Amazon. Okay, and as far as clothing, I'm not gonna go through each clothing piece, but what I would recommend is like workout tops and workout bottoms, you know, comfy leisure wear um, when I'm just chilling around the house I wear like either like a little crop top or some like oversized baggy t-shirts so I have a bunch of those because I figure I am just going to be unpacking I'm gonna be cleaning I'm gonna be running errands when I get there um, but I also did bring some going out clothes so I have a lot of basics and then also a few like statement pieces some of my clothing is in the laundry basket <laughs> I'm starting to realize because this does not look like a lot for three weeks but um, um, some of the clothes I have been wearing and I have to do a load of laundry, but a lot of basic clothes like basic black dresses or sundresses, a few like popping out statement um, pieces. Also, I'm packing like five pairs of my Spanx Undetectable Undies. These are my favorite everyday shaper panty. They're super comfortable. Also, bringing my strapless bra, another strapless bra, and then I have my regular everyday bra also in the laundry. It's really great because it can turn into like a halter style bra, one, one shoulder bra. So as far as swimsuits, I'm gonna bring a little like string, <laughs> stringy swimsuit for tanning. Um, a good like flattering swimsuit that I feel comfortable wearing to the beach or you know, playing in waves. Another really supportive swimsuit, this one's from Amazon, I love these. I'll try and insert pictures of me wearing them. And then my TA3 swimsuit, which is like a shapewear swimsuit, super compressing, super flattering. Um, a million pairs of biker shorts, leggings, black jumpsuit that are just easy to throw on. Um, as far as jackets, I'm just bringing this little crop jacket. Super cute and comfortable by Forever 21. This is my favorite like bra, but it's not a bra. <laughs> it's long lined. It's really flattering. Like you could go out in this. I would probably wear a jacket with it, but you don't need a bra when you're wearing this. It's so, so good, you guys. It's like kind of comparable to skims <laughs> but it's from amazon and then i'm bringing my black um jean jacket from amazon 
my favorite pair of denim shorts, a pair of faux leather shorts, cargo shorts, and then one pair of jeans and some sweatpants. I also forgot I'm bringing this shoebox full of makeup. <laughs> I know, I didn't have a bag big enough for my makeup, so I'm just putting it in a shoebox so I can close it so it doesn't get everywhere. Um, I'll probably just tape the sides too, but yeah, it'll be easy for me to get into um, and then that's gonna go in my beauty bag because for a second I was like, wait, I feel like I have more stuff I gotta put in here, but yes, all my makeup is going in there too. Besides that, I also do wanna call out the best carry-on bag ever. If you need a weekender bag or a bag that you can use for a carry-on, this one's my favorite. I got it from Amazon. Um, it has handles right here and then it has a shoulder handle as well. When you open it up, there's a zipper right here. There's a laptop case right here. I have some like um, sunglasses and stuff from my last trip in there and then it has a big container area so you can put your purse in um, you can put your wallet in they've got like little pockets over here and then it also does have a sleeve for putting in your suitcase so you can put it on top of your suitcase while you're wheeling your suitcase I love this weekender bag so if I don't have enough room in any of my luggage I'll just put the rest of the stuff in here okay so that's what is going in my three suitcases I know it doesn't seem like a lot now that I'm looking at it but promise I have stuff out like in my living room I have stuff in the laundry that still needs to be washed so there's definitely gonna be more going into these suitcases but other things I would recommend maybe bringing if you are moving I'm gonna bring like my favorite cuddly blanket something that you know makes me feel secure kind of at home if I would have had more room in a suitcase I would have considered bringing a pillow with me or you can even just carry that like on the plane with you um, other things like little water rigs especially for around the house when I touch down in LA I plan on going to Target and getting like all my cleaning supplies because that's the first thing I like to do when I move somewhere is go ham and go clean everything so pretty much when I get to LA I'm going to go rent my car I'm doing that through like Travelocity or Expedia you can just rent a car through there um, it's gonna run me about $500 for two weeks and then hopefully I can like sign a lease for a car um, but that's what I'm gonna do when I first get Get there just so I have something available to me so I can you know go to Target get all of my necessities get bedding um, that's another thing you guys could bring with you if you wanted is some bedding like some sheets and stuff um, I'm kind of in a weird situation where I have people who already live there like my sister lives there my friend lives there so if I need blankets bedding a pillow they got me on that so yeah it kind of depends on your situation I know my situation is a little different because I'm not bringing a car I'm flying Half of my stuff is being shipped, um, so it really depends on your situation, but all of the stuff that you need immediately, like as far as like skincare, body products, I would bring that with you. Um, you can also buy it, but I'm just, you know, I'm picky. I need these products on a daily, so <laughs> I gotta have them with me, but yeah, these are just the things I am bringing with me. Um, so yeah. I can't wait to bring you guys along this journey with me. It feels like it's been such a long time coming. I know a lot of you guys have been like, girl, you haven't moved yet? <laughs> I'm trying to do it slow and steady and like, you know, not just jump the gun with anything. And I think I did it right. So um, I'm definitely gonna be doing like a little Q&A on like moving across the country, logistics of moving and packing your stuff. Um, you know, maybe moving with a job or you know how to plan that out. I'm definitely gonna do a video, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't and you wanna see the journey, cause I've definitely been vlogging everything. I am so scared to look at that vlog footage cause I know it's gonna be so long, but yeah, this is where we're at so far, you guys. I'm super excited. I'm not worried at all, nothing like that. I'm just really excited and I'm ready to get a move on with it because I know it has been a very long time, but yeah, this is the stuff I'm bringing with me. Again, I'm gonna link as much of it as possible in the description box so you guys can check it out if you want. But yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out, especially if you're packing for like a long extended trip or you're moving or you're in between houses or something like that. These are things that I'm gonna bring with me. I'm probably gonna regret not bringing more or other things, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I miss you guys so much, by the way. I feel like it's been forever since I sat down and filmed a video, but we're gonna be back at it very, very soon. So I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next one.
was a sight for my soul. I 